Hey guys, so today's tutorial is going to be on this look right here. I really like it. It's just bronzy and really warm tone and I'll be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, so let's get started. I'm starting off using the True Match Lumi Foundation from L'Oreal. I really like this foundation. It gives me medium coverage and I just love the finish of it. Um, and how light it is. Then I'm taking the Morphe M439 brush. I love this buffer brush. Um, just gives my foundation more coverage. It gives me more coverage out of my foundations. And it's just a really nice buffing brush. So then I'm just gonna build up the coverage on that foundation and apply it to any areas that I need. And this brush just buffs in my foundation so easily and distributes the product so evenly. I love this brush so much. Um, I'll be using a lot of the new Morphe brushes I got and yeah, because I love them all. And then I'm just blending this product down the neck. I really recommend this foundation if you want a luminous glow. Um, it really gives you that dewy finish and I would recommend this to anyone with the dry skin. Um, it's really comfortable to wear and feels really lightweight. Okay, so on to concealing. I am going to grab my Wake Me Up Concealer from Rimmel. And also I'm going to mix that in with the Maybelline um, Age Rewind. So I'm taking this and putting it down the bridge of my nose, between my eyebrows, um, on top of my mouth, around my nose, and on any redness or blemishes. So just the usual where I put concealer. And after that, I'm just going to grab my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge and blend that out. really love this sponge. It's way more affordable than the Beauty Blender, and I'd say this is the closest to you could ever find. really recommend this sponge. Then I'm going to take my Maybelline Aid Rewind Concealer and put this under my eyes and use it also to highlight. So I'm just kind of mixing this one with the uh, Wake Me Up Concealer from Rimmel. And then I'm going to grab my sponge again and blend that out. And I'm also going to put this concealer on my eyes just to cover any fading or redness. Then I'm going to grab my Stay Matte Powder with this uh, blush brush from Real Techniques and set anywhere I put my concealer and then set my face. Okay, so now to eyes, I'm grabbing the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and I'm just going to start off with the color Salted Caramel, and I'm going to take my Morphe B23 brush and just use this color as my transition. Um, I love this color as a transition. It's just a warm tone peach shade. It's really nice and such a great matte shade. Um, then I'm just going to blend that out. Then I'm going to grab the shade, I think it's called Marzipan, with my Real Techniques All Over Shadow Brush. I really like this brush for really evenly distributing product all over my lid. And this is such a pretty pink um, champagne shade and I really like it. So I'm just putting this all over my lid. And then I'm going to take Hazelnut with my MB13 brush from Morphe to kind of put this in my outer corners to kind of darken up my eyes. Then I'm going to grab this accent brush from Real Techniques with um, that same hazelnut shade and put this on my lower lash line. And I'm just going to do that to the other eye too. I really like deepening my lower lash line. And then I'm going to grab the shade Triple Fudge and put this in my outer corners to kind of define my eyes and I'm using the e.l.f. contour brush. So I'm kind of using this to in my outer corners to define and just add like a line. And then I'm taking the shade Amaretto um, and placing this on the lid, on the outer lid. I really like the red tones in this shade, really pretty. Okay, and then I'm going back to Marzipan, and I'm just highlighting, I'm doing a little more highlighting and putting more of that color in my inner corners just to brighten my eyes a little. 
Okay, and now I'm taking Champagne Truffle and highlighting my inner corners and my brow bone. This is a really pretty champagne pink. Now I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge to take away any fallout. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer and I love this bronzer. It's just a matte bronzer. I'm taking my e.l.f. Complexion brush to warm up my face and do a tiny bit of contouring. I'm just kind of bronzing here, not doing much um, sculpting, but just to warm up my skin a little. I really love how matte and how pretty this bronzer is one of my true favorites and it's like $4. I really recommend it if you're looking for a good drugstore bronzer. Okay, now I'm taking this e.l.f. blush in the shade Tickled Pink with my E4 Morphe brush and I'm applying this to the apples of my cheeks. I really love this color. It's such a pretty peach with a really nice sheen to it. And I love this brush too, it's part of their Elite Collection, so it's one of my new favorite blush brushes. Now I'm taking this e.l.f. Prism palette with my Morphe uh, M501 brush. This is a really nice highlighting brush, and I'm taking that first shade from the palette to highlight. I've been using that to highlight like constantly. It's like my new favorite highlighter, even though it's an eyeshadow, you can get away just fine with using it as a highlight. I really like the look it gives me. Okay, now I'm going to take my NYC liquid liner, so back to the eyes, and just do a little wing on my eyes. I'm getting really close to the lash line and then just winging it out. Okay, now onto mascara. I'm using the Rocket Volume Express from Maybelline and putting this on my top and bottom lashes. So I'm just doing quite a few coats on the top and then one to two coats on the bottom and really just working through the lashes to get the most out of them and really just create a intense lash. I really like this mascara. It builds up a lot of volume as well as length and I just think it's really nice. Okay, so I'm taking this Lash Accelerator Express from Rimmel and I'm adding this to my bottom lashes. I really like how this separates my bottom lashes because it's a rubble, rubber bristle and I just really like it. And then I'm taking this lip liner from Rimmel in Addiction. It's such a pretty um, kind of just nude shade. It's super gorgeous and it's definitely one of my favorites. So creamy. So I'm just adding this to line my lips. Um, I'm not filling them in or anything, just lining them to kind of create a border. This is such a pretty nude shade, I really recommend it and I love the undertone of it. These Rimmel lip liners are truly my favorite lip liners ever. And then I'm taking this Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Bare It All. I love these Wet n Wild lipsticks, they're such nice uh, matte shades. These are their Mega Last lipsticks. I highly recommend them if you're looking for a really cheap matte lipstick. They're beautiful and they have such a wide color range. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and try it out. Comment down below what you'd like to see next and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And all details on the products I use will be down below, so make sure to check that out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!